Oh, yeah, so thankful for you guys coming out here, but I wish everybody could go home safe! Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, DK News! Danny Kim! David Kim! Today we have lots and lots of hot ass tea! First off, not only X1, Eyes1, but also 101. Oh no. Manipulated. So many well. ones. And mm. second, we have workman Chang sung Gyu following a hot mom on Instagram and the Korean public becoming mad. <laughs> Last but not least, twice as Chio is injured by fans mobbing her in the airport. So much tragic news. Mm -hmm. First news. So it seems like the pole produce series has been rigged. Oh, no. As as previously reported through the K Media, producer An Jun Young, which is our mm, Sombe, yeah. had confessed for manipulating the votes for produce 48 and produce X101. Right. It is currently through investigation. And in the meantime, all activities for the groups have halted. Eyes One and X One didn't even appear on Mama right. 2019, which is their own company show. CJ and M hosts it. So CJ and M themselves are now not wanting to do anything mm -hmm. with them. But and now further investigations have revealed that not only season three and four, mm. but all the produced series wow. were rigged. Starting from season one, uh -huh. the producers changed the ranks of the contestants uh -huh. who were supposed to be eliminated throughout the show. They just swapped some people. Yeah, swapped yeah. some things. Okay, that was for IOI. Uh -huh. And we can't really tie that to like the direct debut of IOI, uh -huh. but they still changed the ranks throughout right, the show. Right. And on season two, it gets worse because one of the members who debuted as 101 uh -huh. was set even before voting. So there was this one person that had reserved a spot yes. in 101. So 101 has 11 members and the 11th rank was switched with a person oh. who was already reserved by the producer. So someone else was supposed to be 101. Mm -hmm. Man, so, that sucks! Yeah, that one person is the real victim here. And <sighs> Man, yeah, okay. investigations reveal that An Jin Young producer had switched the ranking of 11 and 12. One winning contestant with one losing contestant. So basically, he put a loser in a winner spot. I heard that 101, the members, made at least like a million dollars yep. in royalties alone. Mm -hmm. This person could have been, you know, a millionaire. He got thieved. But now he's probably just a trainee. Yeah. Who's 12th place? Uh, nobody knows. We're not going to name anything uh -huh. because these are all okay. allegations. Okay. And, uh, no, there's, they're not allegations. But they're truth. They're, they're the, facts. the fact is the truth, but these names that are coming out oh, are okay, still okay. allegations okay. and guesses. So uh -huh. we don't want to fuel anything right. up. And while 101 was off the radar from this controversy because like they've already debuted, they've already ended disbanded, their career yeah. and disbanded. After a year and a half of successful activities, right. they've gone through a lot. But the public and fans are furious about the situation that the entire producer series was rigged from the very start Man. and the internet is a mess right now because people are trying to speculate who got switched with who right like it's i like, see a oh, lot of names it's, right. it's uh, whatever yeah. there are dominant opinions on who yeah, got switched yeah, with yeah. whom but um uh, nothing is yet confirmed thus we will not name anybody uh, knets are bashing this one person in the comments saying such things as what danny said mm. before stealing one's rightfully hard work person's place mm. and living the best life for one and a half year and earning more than a million dollars wow right. i feel so bad for the member that got switched probably went back to training mm -hmm. the practice room and didn't even know the truth would it, would it be better to not know though? Just yeah, it would have been not. Because I would been like better not kill myself, honestly. Like that would be. I would great. like bomb. I would bomb um, that company, <laughs> which we already threatened <laughs> before. If we have our channel deleted, um, we're here to. I don't know to bomb this place. <laughs> we might be actually signing to that uh, company. And we might actually sign to this company uh, that ri rig us, please, onto the top of YouTube. So, as the show became successful and it proceeded to season three and four, this is already cold tea, but the two producers even got more bold and they just set up the final yeah, winning team. Like, we don't even need yeah, the yeah. 10 yeah, extra Nobody's balls. gonna know anyways. Okay. We switched the last contestant, nobody noticed. Know Let's just then. rig the whole thing. Right. So, so they went from one member to the entire team. They, they, they had a stream of consciousness. Uh, they like, oh, yeah. let's try to like subtly switch yeah, the rankings and then yeah. on to season two. Oh, let's just switch the debut person, like one 
right. person. And on to three and four, like, exactly. oh, Whatever. let's just make this. And, let's you know, just make our group. Profit out yeah. of it. And so they just set up the final winning team, composed of 12 members from Eyes One and 11 of X One members. And the producers admitted that as the mid-show online voting results did not satisfy mm. their thoughts, mm-hmm. they just preset the members that would get to debut. So the producers received $40,000 worth of adult entertainment wow. bribery for 47 times by five people Damn. from different en- entertainment companies. Wait, and wait. Produce 101 was filmed over like, I don't know, three months? Mm-hmm. And 47 times over three months? Uh, two entertainment companies were revealed to have done the bribery, which was Starship and Ulim so oh, far. Oh, no. Mm, mm, not good. I got some tea, mm, but yeah. I'll- yeah. And CJENM has stated an apology and said that they are looking into possible compensation for the victims involved. And KNETs are now fueled with fury, requesting things such as CJENM to shut down, compensate all the shut voters down. and the victims that got unfair results. They can't shut down. Mm. They gotta sign us. So how do you think CJ should cope with this? First like, of all, do you agree that they should pay back to all the voters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, like it takes like ten cents. Ten to cents vote. to vote. So I, I mean, honestly, like that amount is a very small price to pay for mm. the trouble they caused, right? In season one, two, three, four. Like I, I think it's gonna be a lot. I heard it's about five million dollars, <laughs> wow. which is, I mean, that's not a big amount for CJNN. What about the abolishment of the program? Do you think? It well, should be they already have uh, produce 101 Japan going on right mm-hmm. now. I don't think they're going to future seasons. I think they're going to change the name and then come up with. Oh, they're going to continue with this right. audition right, format, right, right, right. but they're going to change the name. Oh, and they're going to do like a. Oh, we were oh, so sorry. Now like, it's the real produce, Kumi, real like Kumi Kumi producer. Like Changsung, where anyone's going to yeah, come out and say. Right. has to come out. Oh yeah, someone, someone who's yeah. very favorable Yusengi. to the public, and then he's gonna, yeah, gonna come out. Hey, I don't know. I think I, they should abolish the program because I thought it was inhumane in the first place. Like you know, like they're not robots. They're I mean, not products. Weird. Like putting them on shelves. And it's very like weird. Lining up 100 people and then like making them all dance in front of these you know 40 know. year old males. And it's, it's they're like. Weird. Weird. You know, oh, she got talented. I know, I know. And, and then they got bribed forty-seven times with adult entertainment uh, bribery. So, but, but it's it's at the same this time. This is national the, humiliation. The irony. People were saying, "Oh, this is such a democratic way." Uh, and uh, I don't. Uh, uh, it's a mess. Uh, uh, it's, it's a, a mess. mess. Like yeah. this, this idea yeah. is from Japan, anyways. Really? Yeah, it's from the AKB forty-eight oh, stuff. So okay, okay, okay. it originates from Japan. So let's give all the. T- you know, our original idea, it yeah, wasn't for Korea, it, back, Japan, it was Japan, so it like it got Let's even weird in Japan, Korea. Let's not though. Let's not blame Japan. <laughs> Come on, it was Anjun Young. I'm who trying to save like my own country. Time. Okay. How the f*** do you go 47 times okay. in that short of okay. time? So what do you think about like all the groups involved? Like Eyes One, X1, so, and 101. Well, what do you think will happen to them? You know, I see S- X1 and, you know... Um, Eyes one not being able to perform in Mama and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and it seems like they're on the road to never releasing anything again mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is you it's know sad. the end, honestly. And I know a lot of international fans are like, oh, like who cares? They got international right, support, right. blah blah blah, and the fans support them. Well, here's the thing: CJ ENM is a huge ass company. And honestly, like Mnet, the music department, Eyes One and, you know, Exxon, what they make is a very small amount compared to the entire revenue stream of well, CJENM. And just with this, like, incident alone, CJENM is receiving a huge amount of, you know, backlash right. and tainting their image. All the advertisers stuff. are running away. Right, right. Mm. And it's affecting the entire company. Mm. So I know all the fans are still supporting Eyes One, X One. A lot of the, uh, the people there are either innocent or yeah. even if they were, you know, rigged into the group, yeah. I'm sure they didn't have a say in, yeah. you know, like, oh, please, you know. Yeah, they can't do anything. They're not going to say like, oh, please provide They're adult entertainment to Anjun Young kids. so I can get in they, they have no say yeah, so yeah. I, I totally understand that situation yeah. but cjnm as a company they're just gonna you know, cut the tail they're gonna cut the tail because that's what they have to do in order to maintain their image and they're a huge ass company and they can't have you know this this small sector of their business ruining their entire company mm-hmm. so so i understand why people are saying like oh it's okay for them to go on and i'm sure even if they just push forth even if x1 pushes forth they'll do okay like there will be there will be fans that will still support them but 
um, CJ and M being CJ and M, um, they are not going to risk. You know their image being tainted with this, right? And also, I just have to put this out there: a lot of fans are mad at Knets or some people saying right. that they shouldn't be active anymore and they mm. shouldn't come out to the extent of like you know, um, poof and stuff. What's poof? <laughs> this bandment? <laughs> but um, I just want to get you through the process of how Korean people are thinking. And if you look at the comments, like the most upvoted comments are always, "Oh, the kids are innocent; they have no problems." Though the opposing comments that are also upvoted say that um, it's the same. It's the same problem with all these like unfairness happening around in Korea right, right now because the social context right now is going against unfairness a lot because like recently there was Chiop BD, there was like um Ipak BD, everything. Ex-presidents uh -uh. de facto president. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the puppet master. The puppet the master puppet master's the daughter got into Iwa University with her mother's influence and power. Right, right. And this current president's son. son got into a very good like government sector with like allegedly his father's influence and power. And he has earrings. Yeah, and stuff blah, like blah, blah, blah. that. And this is a whole problem in Korea because all these rich people's and influential people's right. um, sons and daughters are getting into companies and schools without like the, it's without right having the uh, abilities to yeah uh, and so all like, these innocent people who are like all competing in the system do, right. for doing the SAT working their asses off are not able to go into yes. these companies exactly because of those what I say. yeah so it's the same Korean people are seeing it as the same for eyes one and next one I mean they're innocent kids but their companies backing them up and like had ties with an Junyoung PD, right. there were back deals, and even if they're innocent themselves, but like what happens is once they, they it get, gets revealed they, they got privileged, yeah, they lose their job, they get kicked out, and yep. their mission is canceled. So that's the exact same thing happening with this process. So I think and you guys should understand why Koreans yes. are thinking in this way. Understand the social context. This this does not happen in a this vacuum. This is not just because an it's, idol group, like the kids are innocent. Yeah. It's because like the whole society is rigged right now, and we're trying to eradicate the whole problem. Right. And we right. can't lose this, like, we can't leave this case. It's a rare case that you and I agree, but right. Okay, that's right. anyways, yeah. <laughs> You're right, type this five. Is, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> That's I just right. I just wanted you guys to understand right. the process. I'm not trying to enforce it, but that's no, what's but, going on. But people have to get out of the bubble, understand the social context. You're like, why are people angry? It's not because they hate these kids. They don't care. It's because they want to eradicate. I mean, they are the victims issue. at the end too. But like these rich and influential people's kids that go into colleges right. are the victims too. Right. But they get kicked out of the right. mission because right. that's how it works. Complicated. Yeah. So um, uh, next. News. I think mo most of that was talking about X1 and I1 because they're currently active. But yeah. what about 101? What do we have to do about 101? Because they've already profited. I mean, the other 10 members, they're okay. rightfully there, but the 11th member and the 12th yeah. member, what do we do with them? We take the 12th member uh -huh. and we take the 11th member. The 11th member gives all the money to the 12th member. <laughs> that's what people are saying. Um, <laughs> but the, I don't think that's feasible. Hey, the 11th member, he got all the clout he wanted, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the 101 mm -hmm. um, thing. So he can still have a career. You know, people know him now. Mm -hmm. The 12th member, no one knows him. Mm -hmm. So might as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I, but I, I mean, I mean, this is like just an imaginary situation. Yeah. Obviously, this is never gonna happen. Actually, I, I but. think like this could happen in a legal way because the company CJ ENM got the profit, right? Give the person some like you know, shout outs or <laughs> shout out. Yo, like, I mean, this was the K guy. Come to KCON. This was the guy. He'll be here. The we'll twelfth member. You as a solo artist like, at KCON like NY. I mean, to be honest, he deserves everything in the world right now because like Maybe imagine NY. him like thinking like, oh my god, uh, I was <laughs> that close, and actually, uh, you know, after you know revealing the. I, I would say that guy is going to sue uh, CJNM and CJNM is going to have to compensate right. a hefty price. I don't think the 11th member will have to pay anything. Yeah. Um, but he will get revealed. I mean, he's already... The journalist will reveal him. Basically, he is revealed already in the comments. Right. And, and the journalist will confirm it. Dispatch is on his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, on to the next, next news. news. One of the hottest celebrities in Korea right now, Chang Song-gyu, got caught following a hot 
single mother on Instagram. Wait, so, is she single? Yes. She oh, is shit. I didn't know. Oh, yo. Oh, I need a follower now. I'm, I'm already following her. This is okay. new news. Oh, sh well, this this adds perspective. Yes, yes. Oh my god. This is all over the news okay. and trending on Naver on December 5th. The story goes like this. Chang sung an announcer who stars in the hottest YouTube channel right now. Workman. Yeah, working man, work man. Followed Otto mm -hmm. on Instagram model slash single mom who posts some hot ass pictures of herself. And Otto mom found out that Chang sung was following her, then showed her excitement via in her Instagram story, commenting, Wow, I am Chang sung fan. This is such an honor. You are the most talked about celebrity in Korea right now. Please never unfollow me. Thank you. Uh oh, that With the didn't go well. the screenshot of Chang sung following Otto mom. Let's, mm. let's just. Look at some Ottoman pictures. Uh, I, have mean, to I don't follow her, but... Well, you know. Why are you seeing them then? They just pop up because probably you like them. Oh, yeah. Like, my feed let's is corrupted with a lot of bikini some... pics. Like, let's... these oh, man. I, I... Pilates instructors. Because, because say, you, yo, every single time, I'm like, oh, who's this person? I click I and then ever Instagram seen. has liked it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh man, like she is so hot. Whoa. Wow. 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 Oh wow. 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 Now this became an issue because Otomam is famous for her sexy ass pics as David's checking them out now. And Chang sung is married and his wife is now pregnant with their second child. So obviously this was not a good look for Chang sung -gyu. And when this news started to gain traction, people were bashing him very, very hard. Mm. Let, let me just read the comments for you. I don't think you want to read oh, the comments. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. I, I fuck hate kids, but I, I can take care of a kid. I will take care of a kid, Otomam. If you're watching this, I want to marry you. Okay. <laughs> 내가 장성규 와이프면 기분 좀 나쁠 듯. 음. 기레기 것들이 발가 벗은 전연 인스타 홍보해 주네. 이번엔 임신 중인 아내를 배려하지 않고 섬을 넘어 버리셨네요. 다른 선다 넘으셔도 이건 좀 아닌 것 같아요. 잡것들 중한 사람으로서 많이 실망스럽습니다. In Walkman, 장성규 has a reputation of like crossing the line. Right. That's his thing. He's very inappropriate. Yeah, he's very inappropriate. And that's how he's funny. That's yeah, that's how he's funny. Like he doesn't care about like social norms and shit. He right. just crosses the line. But mm. this time, maybe did he cross the line? <laughs> So after the controversy, Otto Mom came out with an apology, saying she got too excited and didn't think of the consequences her posting this story would bring. Tang Sung-gyu didn't comment anything about this controversy, but he unfollowed all accounts. 400 following accounts, he unfollowed all of them except for his official account of He's protesting. his radio He's show. Protesting. Right. So my question to you mm. is, is following Instagram models like, oh man, like Otto Mom, ah. Uh, while your wife is, <laughs> wife is, wife is, god damn it, like, you, she's so f hot. Are you shaking an eye? Oh my, oh, I so want to marry her. Can you like take care of her kid? Can you stand up right now? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Stop looking at it. Are we going to do this or not? So is following Instagram models while your wife is pregnant. <laughs> while your wife is pregnant. Okay. Three, two, one. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Look at this. I want to be a dad. Man. I would kick you in the ass if I was your wife. Oh. Look at me. I have a baby here, and look at like, like your wife is like right throwing up, you. vomiting. Yeah. Like, oh, oh. And she needs vomiting. all the emotional support and she can I'm get. Like, and then, holy, holy shit. shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? At the end, it's just following a stupid Instagram account and something oh. very trivial. And I understand why people might say, like, it's no big deal. Like, you can follow whoever you can. But honestly, like, if you have a pregnant wife next to you, you should give her your 200%. Like, that's not even enough. Like, you should take care of her delicately. You should give her all the love she wants. And you're just following this person. I mean... Okay, I mean, if there was a premise, if he, he, if he had a connection with her, he if might, he knew he her just personally, appreciate if, her as a fact. If she appeared as a guest in Workman or something, I would understand because there's a personal connection. But uh, she's a CEO of a shopping mall for women's clothes. She has no kind of connection and like towards Chang Sung Gyu. And if he pace? if he just admitted like, oh, I just followed her because like she's she influential and stuff. And no, he can't admit that because that's not why he followed her. 
No, but if she just <laughs> if he just did that, it would have seemed like not a big deal. But like since he just unfollowed everybody, and you know he's making it a big deal. Like I think people are getting more uh, riled up. Stop looking at it. Like, yeah. are you even listening to me? No. Yeah, yeah, I get you. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I get you. Well, I disagree. I, I think following somebody on Instagram that's like a, such a small little thing. If you're wife is jealous because you follow somebody on Instagram or if your wife is pissed, you met the wrong girl. No, I think... Come on, like, have some confidence in you. Like That's you, not about confidence. Your, your husband's kid and your kid is inside your tummy. It's okay? not about jealousy. It's about disappointment. It's the fact that your wife is pregnant and you're looking at other people. Aww. Obviously, a thousand pictures of her with a fit body with bikini pics. Yeah. The question would be, why? Because he can it's the internet. There are men that are doing way worse things. Oh. Not trying to set the bar low, but there's men that are going to, you know, room salons, adult entertainment places when they're married. I think like the line is here. He did nothing wrong. He's like, just he did nothing these wrong pictures. technically. He did nothing wrong. He did nothing pictures. out. But in a moral standpoint, he did something shady. I'm it's saying he, sh he did something shady, not wrong. He can do whatever he wants, but it's shady. Like if my girl was looking at porn i'd be like oh yeah go ahead i don't care oh let's try that thing with me okay that, that would be my my response if he was dming auto mom then i would see a problem like, but like if he's just enjoying oh, these wow. pictures, but i didn't know she was a single mom that yeah, adds a lot yeah like, yeah on to the next, next news. news so chiu is injured due to collision with fans in the airport oh, what a no. sad news okay. so on the 8th actually like a few hours before when twice arrived at kimpo airport after uh, an unofficial event a schedule mm -hmm. uh, they came out from customs and a huge number of fans were waiting for them to greet them and then the crowd just pushed each other to get a glance and some pictures of the girls and the incident happened mm -hmm. and because many of these fans did not stay in line and they pushed oh. chaos was formed and which resulted in Gio to fall oh. onto the ground and she got injured Injured. She burst into tears oh, shit, and then okay. the members like picked her up and oh. then like puchuked her to like oh. her car okay. and she was like like that and uh, she was all like teary and stuff uh, and after this incident Cheong Hyun, uh, like she's the strong girl she yeah. posted on twice's official social media account uh, that they arrived well and they were grateful blah 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 but that she hopes that everybody like modu 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 like four times or something uh, modu 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 would everybody. not everybody would not get hurt and go home safe uh, so she's throwing some shade out yeah, there she's yeah, like yeah, oh yo. yeah so thankful for you guys coming out here but i wish everybody could go home safe she's like basically saying that out there and then jyp stated that the activity of following the artists of unofficial events and after the customs in the airport is officially prohibited by the blacklist rules a code of uh, acting among Conduct. fans when these rules are crossed the particular fan will be banned from all future artist related oh. events also if these events continue to happen the company will have to enforce legal measures against the fans. Oh, no. And JYP went on and urged people to respect safety laws in official events yeah. for the sake of not only the artists, but also the fans themselves. Right. That's actually very important. Life. Don't risk your yeah. life. So, Don't die. Yeah. And this is not it. I think JYP was very furious because oh. they put out another statement and they mentioned that Nayeon was actually getting stalked recently by a foreigner who posted oh, that okay. he or she came to Korea and has been going to places where she might appear. So this guy is like hunting a legendary oh. Pokemon Pokemon, you know? Yeah. This guy is them. playing I saved the master ball human for Pokemon you, with yeah. twice. I saved the master so ball this for guy you. or she is very shady. Thank God he failed. What's worse <coughs> is the person posted that he or she will come back in December uh. again. To continue the pursuit for Nyan. What a crazy bitch. This bird. makes me sick. I mean you, it you feel you, like I'm a Pokemon. You get photograph, right? Don't no. you like I don't get photographed, but I get noticed like when I'm walking in Hongdae, so yeah. I never go there anymore. Right. Oh, wow. What a celebrity. Oh. Fans should get in line. They should like control themselves. Yeah. So I feel so bad for Chiyo because she's been going through a lot. The uh, tears that came out, it, it had a complex meaning. Yeah. Cumulative. Feelings all inside. Right. Like she might hate some fans right now. She got a lot of shit for um, the dating Kang thing. Daniel and stuff. So. And then Kang Daniel, he himself is like sick. His mental health mm. is not doing 
all that great I, right now. I mean, every time I see a Chiho picture these days on like the internet or the yeah. articles, she's always this this expression. Right, right, right. I've never seen her smile or anything. Uh, Even in the award shows, she's like when Kang Daniel was right next to her, she's just like uh, looking at the ground and stuff. Right. When Kang Daniel's like waving, and all these girl fans are running from like that, doing that, and Chiho's right next to him and doing like. Oh. I mean, what can she do? But if I feel so like, bad I for can't her, can't kiss there. I know, Maybe but they can. I know, but like because she's pressured by these fans, <coughs> they like, know like they're looking at her. Yeah, yeah. So she she can't do anything but right. like that, and then she arrives at the airport, and her own fans mob her, and then she trips and gets right. injured. Like oh, how man. fucked up is that? Like I would cry. Get too. well soon, Jiho. If you wanna catch us on Instagram with your master balls, uh, go to Instagram and also follow us on Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/DKDKTV. Uh, we have exclusive content. Oh, we and... do private meets too. Oh, really? Yeah, we do sometimes. Oh, yeah, sometimes. Those are random. Those are like the yeah. random events. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So if you want to catch us, guys, yeah. want to have save a chance. Save your master balls. Yeah, save your Starbucks coffee and visit our Patreon.com slash DKDKTV. $5 a month and you might be able to meet us in Korea or like LA. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Pokemon.